Hi guys, it's been a while but I'm back with another perfume video. It's finally the weekend after Memorial Day and the weather has finally warmed up in the Hudson area and I'm so excited to start wearing my summer fragrances. So here are my top 5 summer fragrances I will be wearing this summer. First up is Jo Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt. This is a beautiful musky scent that people are obsessed over and for good reason. I had the smaller bottle of this when it first launched and I also give a bottle to my sister and she usually doesn't wear perfume but she loved this one so it's also perfect for if you're looking to gift a fragrance because honestly you can't go wrong with this one it's great for every day you can wear it anywhere it's very subtle and also it's kind of sweet and I think it's the embrette note in it it's an easy reach all year long so the big bottle is totally worth it for me the second fragrance I'll be wearing all summer is Virgin Island Water by Creed. Honestly, this will always be in my favorite summer perfumes list. To me, this is kind of borderline gourmand type of fragrance. There are so many edible notes in here, coconut, lime, white rum, sugar cane, and ginger. It sounds like a recipe for a drink at a tiki bar on the Caribbean. But it's not secretly sweet in any way. It's very wearable and it transports you to a tropical paradise. Um, if you haven't tried this and you are also into gourmands, I highly recommend you go and try this. Next fragrance is really from an underrated brand and it's Mediterranean Honeysuckle Clementina from Erin. This is a limited edition flanker to the Mediterranean Honeysuckle which is also beautiful and I think it's one of their best sellers. But I felt that my collection was lacking in something that had a bright citrus note so I actually went for this one instead. And I have to say the honeysuckle note is kind of nostalgic to me. It reminds me of the days when I was younger. And after spending a hot summer day with my friends, we would walk home for dinner and it would still be a little light out and you could smell the honeysuckle in the warm breeze from like a bush somewhere um, in the neighborhood. And so yeah, it's a very nostalgic note for me. And the bright citrus opening is really uplifting but not too punchy or fruity. It just adds like the perfect little accent. Now this is an aquatic summer rose fragrance called Rose Atlantic from the house of Dias and Durga. It's really unique like most perfumes from this house and it could be a hit or miss with most people. There is a bit of a tart sour opening to this which does settle down a little bit but it's not for everybody. It's also a nostalgic scent for me. It smells like if you had like a sweet rose perfume on or used like a rose scented shampoo or shower gel and then you went sailing for the day and just got off the boat and now you're hanging out on the boardwalk. I grew up in kind of like a beach town so I guess that might be why it smells a little bit nostalgic to me. And yeah, that's just the image and the feeling I get from this, like seaside, beachy vibes, but still like rosy and floral. So if you're looking for a rose that's unique, uh, definitely check this one out. Last but not least is Moonlight in Heaven by Killian. This is such an addictive mango scent, you guys. Like it's unique, it's fruity, and there's a bit of a sportiness to this, which I really like. Um, I think it's from the Grapefruit Note, possibly. I find that in a lot of like sports colognes or O versions of perfumes. And I think that's what's giving this perfume like that summery vibe. There is a creaminess, but nothing like gourmand, um, like a whipped cream. It's more just like a smooth creaminess that ties everything together. And also this leans unisex, so if you are not into like super feminine tropical scents, then this might be the one for you. So that's it for my video today. Has any of these perfumes sparked your interest? Do you guys like any of these perfumes? If you do, then definitely sound off on the comments below. And as always, I don't recommend blind buying perfumes. Get out there and try these in person if you can. Hope you guys have a great start to the summer and see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.